You're watching Terrier Vision. Hello, Wofford fans, and welcome into this week's edition of Wofford Weekly. We're going to shine the spotlight on the Wofford baseball program this week, and we're here with head coach Todd Indonato. Todd, you got a lot of new faces, but let's start with the guys that are coming back, specifically on the mound. You've got uh, Brandon Yarusi, who had a great year last year. Uh, pitching is more than just strikeouts, but he had more strikeouts than any pitcher in 56 years in the program's history. Talk a little bit about talk a little bit about Brandon, and talk about you know some of the preseason accolades he's gotten. Well, I think Brandon deserves everything he's gotten. You know, I think he came in here and we were ready for him to break out his sophomore year, but he had that injury right before his sophomore year started. So I think we kind of saw it coming maybe a little bit before everybody else. And, you know, we expect him to have a good year last year, and he even exceeded those expectations. And, you know, he's going to be our Friday night guy this year. We're going to hang our hats on him, and, you know, he's going to carry us to start every weekend, and tomorrow's going to be no different. Um, it's two in the rotation, Jesse Morris, you know, had, a, had an injury last year, but you feel pretty good about, about his coming back and his progress. Yeah, he's looked good. And, you know, the most important thing is how they've looked recently. And recently he's looked great. In his last inner squad and the one before that, he looked like the guy who was doing a real nice job on Saturdays last year. So we're going to slot him into that number two spot this year, and we expect the same thing, if not a little bit better from him. Another guy I would imagine you feel pretty good about is the person on the back end, which is Eric Eck, who was your primary closer last year. Talk about Eck's preseason. Yeah, he's been good. You know, we were pretty careful with him in the fall just because he got so much usage last spring and then into last summer. So we were careful with him in the fall, but, you know, used him full strength again this spring for inner squads, and he's looked great. And we're excited to have a guy back on the back end like that who's had the experience of being back there because that's a unique role. It's a very individual role, and it can be a very lonely role at times. But, you know, he's been through it all, and he looks great right now, and we're ecstatic to have him. Now, that, some of the pitchers you got coming back, there's going to be a lot of new faces on this team. Talk a little bit about the youth uh, of the 2013 Terriers you know, as far as on the field and some of what you've seen from the young guys in this preseason camp. Sure. You know, I, I've got a lot of questions so far this year about what our team's going to be like, and the one word I always use is different. We're just going to be a different team, and not only from who we're going to play position to position, but, you know, more of an internal difference of, you know, all of our dominant personalities from last year, people like Constantine and people like David Roney and Mac Doyle and James Foster and Cash Collins and Gus White, Mason Bradley, Anthony Rowan, all those guys graduated, and they were really the core of this program. And so it's been interesting to see how everything's kind of turned over, not only from a baseball standpoint, but from a day-to-day -day personal standpoint. And the younger guys this year have done a really nice job of mixing in, but I've also got to give a credit to a lot of our older guys who've made them feel welcome. And you're going to see a lot of new faces out there come this weekend, a lot of new faces throughout the course of the year. But we're excited because we're getting ready to learn a lot about them. Yeah. Speaking of learning a lot about them, that's really what the first month or so of a season is, and maybe more so than any other year you've been here what you're going to find out about your team this year before you get into the SOCON season in March. Talk about what you want to find out about your team here in the next month. That's a great question. And, you know, we have a lot of answers, or we need a lot of answers between now and when we go to Georgia Southern, you know, like you said in the beginning of March. And what we're going to try to settle on, we're going to try to settle on three weekend guys to pitch for us and go out there and take the ball every day. And we still have a lot of questions of who that's going to be, you know, especially on Sunday. We're not really sure. There's going to be some auditions for that through midweek games. And when you play four games on a weekend, like we do this weekend, that's going to be, I think, the biggest thing we're trying to figure out. And I think the position player stuff will sort itself out. You know, we're not going to commit ourselves to nine guys from day one all the way through day 56. We're going to play a pretty steady mix. We're going to play our matchups, and guys are going to get their chances. And I don't know if we'll ever settle on straight nine guys for the rest of the year. I think what we're going to try to find out as a coaching staff is what our best matchups are for what we want to do in the field. 